happy people I'm back with another video and today I'm giving poly gel nails another go okay um, I'm gonna link my video to my first attempt it somewhat failed but I was able to salvage it um, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to see if I can master this lazy girl method and I'm gonna be using a kit that I recently got um, which is the SXC lazy girl kit um, I will leave my unboxing for this kit down in the description, but it came with everything that you need in order to do some awesome poly gel nails. So um, these are all the products I'm gonna be using. These are three poly gels, and I'm actually gonna use everything in here except for the extend gel because I'm not doing like the A-Press dupe method. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything ready here. Okay, so yeah, this is everything I'm gonna be using here. I already have my design in mind, so that is that I am going to use literally all the colors every single thing you see here I'm putting it to use and then um, the kit also came with like some glitters I'm gonna be putting those to use but you'll see my design here shortly but it did come with some extra extra long um, coffin tips and stiletto tips and uh, I was gonna use those but they're a little bit long for my liking this length right here is probably just comfortable enough for me so I'm gonna go ahead and use my young nails um, full cover tips um, on this hand is actually the Beatles full cover tips but I just want to use my young nails ones just to make sure I'm getting use out of all my products um, but yeah if you all want to see how I got this look um, definitely check out the description box these are my black history month nails and I absolutely love them like yes black power okay anywho um, so let me hop right on into this I do have my nail stand all prepped and ready to go okay um, so first I'm gonna go in with the base coat and I'm also gonna prep my slip solution here I'm gonna go on with the base coat and apply it to all the nails. Okay. And the base coat is pretty thick here. So I'm gonna apply that to all the nails generously. And I am gonna be doing glitter on the nails. So now that the base coat has been applied, I'm gonna go in with my glitters that I'm going to be using which is these which is this glitter and these butterflies here so I'm gonna go ahead and apply the glitters and so what I'm gonna do is just take I took a little bit of alcohol on my brush and now I'm just patting the glitters into the nails into that base coat here I'm going to do that on all of the nails and with the butterflies I want to use the pink butterflies in particular on the middle finger and the, um, the middle finger and the ring finger I'm sorry the pinky finger so I'm just going to drop those in here like that Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. So now that's being cured for 60 seconds, you all can kind of get a sneak peek at how it's looking. It looks really cute. Um, now I'm gonna go in with my poly gel. I'm gonna go ahead and adhere my index finger and I'm gonna use that pink color. And I know last time this is where I went wrong with the application because I had a uh, applied the poly gel and then cured it and then try to put it on my hand but now I know I need to just put it inside the nail first and then cure it with me so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here like so I think I might have put too much but we will see and I have my slip solution here I'm just gonna smooth everything out y'all
Okay. And then I know I'm supposed to. Oops. Oh, this is sticky. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Let's do like this. Okay. And then from here, I think what I messed up with last time was I didn't adhere it to my hand, my finger first. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere it to my finger. Press down. And then I'm gonna get off the excess. I'm just gonna take off this excess here because that's too much. And I'm gonna put it inside of the pinky now. And I'm gonna take this with some alcohol and clean around the finger. Now I'm going to cure this for 60 seconds. Alrighty, so that's what she's looking like. This was a lot better application than my first time. That was pretty darn easy to do, I must say. So that's how the underside of the nail looks. Yeah, that was, that was easy peasy. I see why it's called the lazy girl method now. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and smooth out the uh, middle finger now. So I'm finding though with the poly gel, you really don't need much at all. So let's see here. I'm gonna just apply just a little bit to the middle like this. And I think this right here is enough for the whole entire nail. So I'm gonna take my slip solution and with the slip solution, I'm gonna really just push it all the way to the top of the nail. Because what I, what I found with this nail that I just did was if you apply it too thick, it's gonna be difficult for you to um, adhere it to your nail. So yeah, I'm gonna, just like I said, I'm gonna push that poly gel all the way to the front of the nail, and I'm gonna thin out that cuticle area, like so. And then you wanna push it into the sides as well. And then push it into the side over here. Thin out the cuticle area some. And then after you do that, you'll wanna just smooth out the entire nail. Just like that. And then from here, you can apply it to your actual nail. And actually, before I do that, I just realized I did not put my peel off base coat on y'all. So I'm planning on popping these bad boys off. So let me do that really quick. <laughs> So I'm gonna be using my Maran Peel Off Base Coat because I don't want these to stay stuck on my nails, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and put this nail on. Oh, you can barely see the butterflies, but they are there. So let's go ahead and do this one here. I'll take it and just put it at the cuticle and then you'll push down, push down just a little bit and whatever spews out, that's what you'll go ahead and take off. And what I like to do is anything that spills out underneath, I'll take my spatula and I'm just gonna literally remove that from the nail because I don't even want this, this, this thickness to be there. And I'm gonna put it on another nail that I know I'm going to use that color for. So that's to not waste product and then also to have your application be as smooth as possible. So. That's that. Yeah, I'm gonna just remove it all together. Just like that. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in with my slip solution again and just smoothed out the underside of the nail. Like so. Because you really don't need a lot, is what I'm seeing here. There you go. And then out here, I'm gonna take some alcohol and just clean around the cuticle area. Like so.
And that looks good to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. So that's being cured. Next, I'm gonna go in and do all whites on this ring finger here. So I'll take the white one and do the same thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed through the rest of this. I think you all get the gist, and then I'll be right back. Alrighty, so this is what the nails look like after they've been fully cured. Um, I do, I did go ahead and use whatever was left over from when I was taking it from underneath the rest of the nails, and that was just enough to fill this entire nail. So that lets me know that with this lazy girl method, a little bit goes a long way. Like you really don't need much poly gel at all um, to make this method work. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and file shape and buff the nails. Well, actually, before I do that. There is a sticky layer underneath the nails. So I'm gonna go through with a lint-free wipe and just spray that. All right, that is a lot better. And then next what I'm gonna do is go through and file shape and buff the nails. So I just wanna make sure I keep my shape. Just crisping that back up a little bit. And then any of the poly gel that got on your hands, you can file that away as well. I'm sorry, on your skin. Okay, next I'm gonna go through and just buff the surface of the nails. Okay, this is what they look like after they've been filed, shaped, and buffed. Now I'm gonna go in with my top coat. Wow, these glitters are so beautiful. Oh my goodness, I love it, love it, love it. Okay, and then you'll wanna cure for 60 seconds. Okay, so that's what it looks like after it's been top coated. So beautiful, loving this so far. Okay, so next what I'm gonna do is, I do have some butterflies here. This did not come in the kit, but I got these off of Amazon, and I think they would go perfect with this set. So I'm gonna put, since there are butterflies on this nail and on my pinky, I'm just gonna put a butterfly here on my ring finger. Actually, no, I'm gonna put the butterfly on my, my middle finger. And I am gonna be using the clear to adhere the charm. I have actually never used poly gel to adhere traumas before, but I heard that it's a great alternative. And y'all know I love my little beetle situation, but I'm open to trying something new. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this poly gel here. So I'm gonna be putting gems on this hand. I think I got too much poly gel, so I'm gonna just set it here. And then over here, I just wanna apply just a little bit so that I can put my butterfly down like so. Okay, so that is that. Now my butterfly. I'm gonna take this one here and just put her right here. How cute is that? Uh, actually, I think I don't like it on this finger. <laughs> I want it on my index finger. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on my index finger. I just changed my mind. And then now on my ring finger, 
I'm gonna apply one of these um, rhinestone placement thing that I did here off camera. And these are the jewels that came in the kit. So I'm just gonna use my rhinestone picker and go ahead and place everything as I see it here. to me I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds apply top coat and I'll be back with the finished look okay y'all so a thing happened off camera I do apologize when I started applying my top coat I got a little carried away with adding just like some butterflies to the nails and then I was like oh let me just add a little bit of bling within the top coat and the next thing you know my thumb is like blinged out too so <laughs> this ended up being a little bit more of a blingy set than I was expecting but Y'all know how that goes. So for this finger, I literally just applied the rest of those little butterflies within the um, top coat and I did the same thing on this hand. On this finger, I just literally put a couple more rhinestones within the top coat. And then on this finger, um, I actually got this butterfly from um, Amazon. It's not a part of this kit, but um, I thought it'd be really cute to add on and then I um, went ahead and just put some more rhinestones that came within the kit. So I really like how this set turned out. So to be honest with you, this hand right, this finger right here, I don't like the, how it goes with the rest of the set because I feel like it ended up being more of a butterfly set. So I think that honestly, this would have been better on my thumbnail and this would have been better on my ring finger. What do you guys think? But either way, it's already done, it's on. And so, yeah, y'all, let me go ahead and apply some cuticle oil. Let me go ahead and apply some cuticle oil here just to get my cuticles nice and hydrated again. And then we'll be all done. This is actually the cuticle oil that came with the kit. So I just want to give it a go and see how it works out. All right, you guys. Ain't she cute, though? It's the bling bling sparkle sparkle for me. I think that I did pretty darn good with the lazy method this time around. Um, it was a lot smoother for me. It still took a little bit longer to do my nails simply because um, I was I'm, I was doing the glitters and adding all this extra bling onto the nails. But honestly, um, the lazy girl method, okay. I see I see why it's called lazy girl. It's not too it's not too hard. If I was doing just like a basic simple set, honestly. Um, it would have take it would have taken me no no time to do this. So once you get the amount of poly gel that you need to add to the kit, um, once you get that part right, then it's super easy to do the lazy girl method. So yeah, I'm excited to play around with that method even more um, and just master it. So yeah, like I said, the only thing I wish is that maybe I would have did the ring finger and the thumb if I had to switched out the designs. But I'm still loving how this turned out. Like she icy though, she real icy. So yeah, this turned into like a butterfly set. I'm sorry I missed that footage of me placing my rhinestones and everything, but um, y'all have seen me do that on my channel a few times. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Again, if you all want details on this look here, I will leave that down in the description box so that you all can check out how I got this set. I did actually draw this myself, so I've been playing around with some more freehand nail art, and yeah, I really like how this set turned out. So. Which set is your favorite, you guys? I'm definitely thinking this set is my favorite just because I like the simplicity of it while still having a little pizzazz. This right here is like, hey, boom, I'm in your face. Hear me, see me roar, you know what I mean? Yeah, y'all, this is, like I said, true life of a YouTuber when you always have your nails done, but two different sets, okay? So, yeah. Hello, happy people. I wanted to pop in really quick and announce the winner of my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I just want to thank everybody who took the time to enter. If you did not win, do not be discouraged. I will be hosting more giveaways in the future. I appreciate all of you all's love and support. And here's the winner. Sets by Lene. Congrats, love. I really appreciate all of your love and support on the channel. Uh, reach out to me on Instagram and I will get your package all packed up nice and neat and sent out to you. Again, thanks again for everybody to everybody for entering and 
yeah I'm gonna hop back into uh, my final thoughts on this XXC poly gel kit that I got from Amazon in regards to this kit absolutely love it it's a it's a bang for the buck it comes with so many items again I will leave the um, unboxing in the description box so that you all can take a look at it but you all saw it came with absolutely everything you needed so to get this look the glitter the butterflies the rhinestones everything that's on this nail is what came in that kit everything except actually the butterfly and let me show you all the butterfly here so that's the only thing that didn't come in the kit this this actual butterfly here the 3d butterfly and then this uh, brinestone butterfly but outside of that every single thing came with the kit including its own freaking cuticle oil which is crazy so I did use the lamp that was included in this kit as well to do this set so the lamp worked beautifully poly gels worked beautifully everything worked beautifully so I'm super excited to have this kit and maybe even go and try some more SXC kits so yeah let me know your thoughts um, let me know what's your favorite design here on my hands and I do upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday Thursdays in particular are my nail therapy Thursday videos where I premiere a video every single Thursday Thursday and watch it live with you all um, so yeah if you like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family I'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video I hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye